folks. This is Andrew with TN Master Picks, and tonight I'm going to share with you a gigantic hat haul. Um, most of these hats I source from two or three different places, and I'll try to uh, walk through these fairly quickly. I have a whole lot of hats. Most of these still need to be cleaned and, and steamed out and, and kind of washed, but um, I'll try to get through these. The um, first two here came from the yard sale that I went to last weekend. It's a Wounded Warrior Project hat. It's a Under Armour hat. <clears throat> a minimal wear. Um, a good size with a medium. And then the next one from that sale, which is frayed up a little bit. They tried to give it to me for free, but I, I paid them something for it. But it's a Jordan hat, and it's got the uh, 20, number 23 print. It is a youth hat. Uh, these next two came from a um, one of our local um, one of our local help center stores, thrift stores. Um, got a San Francisco Giants hat, and um, it's pretty old. This is a it's also a youth hat, uh, but it's a OC Sports, and it's it's one of the older logos. Also made in Bangladesh, so a couple of signs that it's that it's fairly old, possibly vintage. And then the next one here is a Kubota racing hat, a racing team. It's made in China, so probably a little bit newer. At right, this next batch here, I got these at the local um, Goodwill Ben store last weekend. Uh, but um, I got a Tony Stewart NASCAR hat. It's got several logos on it. It's definitely aged. It's, it's got some white on it that's going to need to be cleaned up, but I should be able to get that out. It's an authentic driver's line hat. A couple of kids' hats, just uh, Bass Pro Shops. It says Gone Fishing for like a toddler baby hat. And then uh, Monster High. We've got uh, Colorado Rockies hat. Uh, also, the OC Sports youth hat with the older logo. So this hat, I actually kind of was like looking. I gave it back. I tried to give it to someone, and they threw it out. So I picked it back up, but it's a, a new era hat for DC skateboards. It, it's in rough shape, but getting it at the bins is cheap, so I never know when I can get some of the like, stainage and stuff to come out of it. I might be able to sell it. They're pretty popular. This one... It's a novelty hat, a hunting hat, it's got, um, and it says deer hunters get all the big racks. The Auburn Tigers hat, this is more of your casual hat. It's got tigers embroidered on the side, kind of a logo tag. It's a top of the world brand, a good brand for college sports. I got a couple of these, a, a Seattle Mariners hat. This one is a 5950. Got the official on field logo. It's definitely a little bit older, but it also has, when it says official on field, like that's stitched in there. I don't, I don't know that I've seen that before in my baseball hats. Got another one here, also Mariners, is also the OC hat, but it's like out, it's the outdoor cap company made in Bangladesh. So, and it's got kind of that plastic liner. So it's definitely vintage. Next one here, an Angels hat. It's a, a genuine merchandise. It's also a 47 brand, which is typically nicer than, than your other brands. It definitely needs to be reshaped a little bit. The last one I found from the Benz haul is a Ping hat. Looked it over pretty good, but it's got like the sensor cool technology. It's a flex fit which that's, that's peeling a little bit. Um, it does have the liners where it has ping on the inside. So it says like Karsten on the back. That might be, that may be the person that, that owned the hat previously. I don't know, I have to look it up. Maybe it's a golfer, who knows. The next batch of hats that I have here, I found sourced at an estate sale. They were high priced. Usually even in estate sales, I don't pay more than a couple bucks to a dollar for hats. This particular sale, uh, these people price things a little bit too high, especially the first couple of days. Here's what I got. This is um, a vintage NRA hat. That's a classic hat. 
Um, the foam is falling out, so I got to be careful because it got everything filthy. Um, I'm not sure what to do with that. I mean, I'm sure it's still valuable. I don't know. If, I doubt it can be replaced. I don't know if I need to just wash that out and leave it. Maybe someone knows if there's other hat collectors or hat refurbishers here. Maybe you could tell me the best way to handle that when the foam is falling out. This one is Summit Racing Equipment. It's got a brandish and a flag on the side. It's got a logo on the back. So, um, you know, a popular racing hat with multiple logos tend to do well. I've got a Tennessee Titans hat. Um, it's a vintage. It's a Pro-Line Authentic. But also a Puma. As far as the brand, which that was one of the, I want to say that was one of the first authentic brands that, that we had when the team came to town. So it's also got the name stitched on the back with the NFL insignia. So a lot of logos, pretty nice hat. I may or may not keep this, but even though it's a sore spot, but that's your uh, Super Bowl, what 30, Super Bowl 34 hat from 2000 in Atlanta. It, it's uh, That's the, the Super Bowl that the Titans were in. So this is one of the official Super Bowl hats, um, a licensed product. It doesn't have the teams on it, but it is representing those uh, that Super Bowl that year or so and then atlanta motor speedway that's kind of a, a very nice casual logo the bill is still flat you know most most race hats don't have a flat bill um, almost everyone i know that wears race hats curves the bill it's got a good little metal buckle on the strap still has the cardboard in it so it's likely hasn't been worn very much so made in bangladesh so it's also vintage and then this one I thought was something nice, but this like it says Team USA and it's a Sonoma hat. It's definitely a nice casual hat. Um, it's got like a US triple XL. It's got a buckle on the back, but uh, my, my wife t told me it, told me it came from Coles. The next one here, um, a vintage. Nashville Predators hat. This one, it's got like the, the NHL insignia, and then um, made in Indonesia. So it has some discoloration from age. It looks like it was kind of an off-white, and now it's definitely got a little bit of color differentiation between the front and the back. But um, solid, solid snapback for sure. So the next one here is just uh, if you remember this logo. That's a Brooks and Dunn hat. Um, it's got the metal metal buckle with the metal lined. And then I got another um, novelty hat with uh, 50, uh, 50 years old over the hill. Um, I've had a couple of these before and they tend to sell. This one is a little bit older. It's got like the protector in the front that, that flips down. So you can tell that, that that's gonna be old. And Echo lawn equipment. Um, and then um, Dave Blaney hat so this one has your Amco logo his number, his name, some extra stripes um, it's got some other stuff written on it for like ultimate and then on the back though it says inaugural season of 1998 so I felt that I felt that in particular gave it the most value that it's honoring his first racing season. The last one from this haul was just a basic sea doo hat. It's kind of hard to see, but um, this one's a little bit older. It says sea doo Athl uh, athletics. I didn't know there was a sea. I guess the sea doo athletics they race um, jet skis, but it's got also has this inside protector, which to me makes it a little bit older. This last set of hats, these came from an estate auction that we went to a month ago. Um, may or may not go back again soon because I'm still sorting through all the stuff that we got from this auction. But for 10 bucks, I picked up a giant mystery box of hats. I looked through a couple on the top. I saw a couple that I wanted. Later last week, I went through these hats and I was, I was pretty amazed. They kind of tell a story of you know maybe the person that they belong to where they came from why they 
why they came here. Gives you a little sense of appreciation when you can just look through their hat collection and get an idea of, you know, maybe what where their life took them. So, so I'll start going through these, but the first one here, and this is another one that had a foam on the inside and the foam was breaking up. So I gotta be kind of gentle, but a sheet metal workers hat with your um, embroidered insignia. It's got the rope around the base. And then of course, it's got a nice like plastic protector on the inside. And then what used to be foam, but also foam inside of a liner, which means it was a higher quality hat. And it was made in the USA. So this hat, all the rest of them have the old foam on it. I'm not sure what this hat is. It is a, a new era hat. I don't know if that's maybe the sounds or um, I have another idea here that I, I'm not going to show just yet, but um, it's it's new era. <clears throat> it's made in the USA, size small to medium. It is for sure vintage. Tennessee Volunteers. It's a corduroy's hat. It's pretty nice. It also has like a foam style or an older style yellow pad right in the front made in the usa so official collegiate product it definitely needs cleaned up in a bad way this one's just a basic ups worker hat also likely vintage it's just the material on the front here is like a really thick canvas on the inside so it doesn't have foam but it's not just plain some of these have dates on them and sometimes you can tell the date if there's a lot number, but I can't find much, but it is made in the USA and it says it all over it. It's on the tag, it's on the snapback. And then here's one, this is the first one I have where the snapback broke on me. But um, this also kind of tells a little bit of story about the person. So it's a Detroit Tigers hat. So officially licensed hat made in Korea, which that makes it very old. So it is um, definitely a vintage. All right, and then this one, this is kind of odd one in here, but a um, Panama City, Florida hat. This one's made in China, but it still seems to be fairly old just, just based on the way it was made. And then this is one I really love, and I haven't decided if I'm, if I'm gonna keep it yet, but this is a, it's a train conductor's hat. So Huckleberry Railroad and from Flint, Michigan. Um, it's definitely got some age to it, but a lot of times you don't see these with a patch. So I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to look this up. It's a sized fitted hat. So another hat from the Michigan area. Here we got just a paramed emergency medical service hat. So like an older paramedics hat. It's in a lot better condition than most of the others. The liner on the front has some, some cross hatched like a vinyl or polyester material, almost like a plastic. So definitely a good condition hat. I haven't really looked into it yet to see if it's actually um, a vintage piece or if it's a collectible piece or not. So the last row here are some, what I felt were some of the nicer hats from this collection. This one is, uh, it's your, it's a Coca-Cola Olympics hat. So it's worldwide Olympic partner, 1928 to 1996. And then it's got Atlanta, 1996. So it's basically the Atlanta 1996 Olympic Games. It's also a like a corduroy type material and in very good condition. This is just like your standard trucking hat, CNJ Trucking, Royal Oaks, Michigan. It is made in China. It looks like it's from Speedway gas stations because <laughs> it's it's got like a Speedway tag, but it also has like a nice. Um, soft liner in the front this is a, a boeing hat for a 747-100 jet it's also a corduroy hat so it's boeing jet transport and made in the usa houston texas likely vintage it has another good like a pull out protector in the front another good sign of vintage but um, there's a lot of Boeing collectors and just general, still general air flight collectors out there. So I think that's going to be a good hat. Next one here is, it's a Niagara Falls hat. 
So definitely like another like vacation travel, but it, this is actually, it's, it's kind of a embroidered plastic of some sort, but it's not real bulky. So that's pretty cool. Um, it has that nice foam liner on the front on the inside here. It's definitely a little bit older made in Taiwan. So that actually makes it very vintage and that has a good shot of being valuable. This one is the next Detroit Tigers hat. It's also a new era hat. I'm not sure how vintage, but it um, it doesn't have like it's got the liner. It's, it's pre it predates the 5950 in the hat. One more thing, and I think this kind of brings together the picture of of this person and where they were from. So they have some ties to the Detroit, Michigan area, but then I found the Saturn hat. So it's it's kind of an official Saturn hat. It's got a nice inside to it, vintage. So. That tells me they probably were a transplant from, um, you know, Michigan to Tennessee when they built the, the Saturn plant and they moved a lot of their labor force down here from that. So it kind of paints that picture that that's probably what brought this person to this area. Got two more here. I saved these for last. I, think, I just think they're really cool. This one really needs to be cleaned up. It looks like it might have had a, the liner removed from it, but it's a Miami Dolphins hat and it's it's very old um it has a rope on it there team colors officially licensed product made in taiwan rock roc so taiwan roc that's putting it way back i mean at least early 80s and then last but not least this was the coolest hat in the box it's something that i remember quite a bit this is the so 1989 world champions not not just NBA, not just Detroit, not just America, the world. It has the foam liner on the inside with the official tag actually on the liner. It's Taiwan ROC. Pretty cool snapback right there to finish up the hat hauls. But that's my hat haul. All of these are going to give me a lot of work to do, just cleaning them up and, and getting them fixed up ready to list. Thank you for joining me. I uh, hope everyone has a good evening. This is Andrew with TN Master Picks signing off.